Besides leaving the egg in the hot water for a longer time, suggest another way Peter can ensure that the egg in beaker B is fully cooked. So what do you think we can straight away do to ensure that beaker, the egg in beaker B is fully cooked? Since from the result of A, we already know that 400 milliliter of water versus 200 milliliter of water, the 400 will allow the egg to be cooked completely. So what do you think we can do for beaker B? Increase the temperature. Uh, no, both temperature are already at 80 degrees Celsius ready. So if I increase the temperature to 90, right, then that will make the, because it will already cook ready. Ma. But what is one thing that I can straight away do to beaker B? What is the change variable in this experiment? The amount of? The amount of water. So in order for the egg in beaker B to be cooked more readily, one interim measure I will straight away take is to add more hot water. Okay. I will not. Okay. I think if you were to write temperature, some teacher may accept, some teacher may not be accept. Now, some teacher may not accept, but I will say if you want to go with a more safer option, right, always look for the change variable. If the change variable is on um, adding different amounts of water, right, it will be good for you to use back the change variable, which is to add more water to it so that you will not like, oh, you increase the temperature, then why you go and make the other one become 90? You know what I'm trying to say, right? Just stick to okay. answering using the change variable. Okay. Okay. Yeah, then now, right, uh, we move on to part C. Peter then placed two other eggs of equal mass in beaker C and D as shown in the diagram below. So now you notice that, right, beaker C got 400 milliliter of water, beaker D also got 400 milliliter of water, and both are at 80. But the material for beaker C is made of metal and the material for beaker D is made of plastic, which means to say, what is your change variable now? The material of the beakers. Very good. So we just write down, okay, I, I know you may feel that, eh, how come keep asking me this question now? Keep asking me what is the change variable? What is the measured variable? Because I want Gabriel to be able to identify what, parameters you are testing, then you will be able to pick up, oh, that is the difference in the parameter. Then that will give you a good advantage of identifying the different parameters so that you know what will be resulted. So the change variable here is the materials of the beaker. Okay, now C, right, is a metal beaker. D is a plastic Beaker. But uh, the beaker C, right? The egg in beaker C was only partially cooked. I know what you will tell me. Hey, but teacher, you say that metal is a good conductor of heat, right? How come the egg in C is only partially cooked? Would you want to think along this line on why do you think C, the egg in C is only partially cooked? What could be a possible reason? What do you think could be a possible reason resulting in the egg only being partially cooked? If the water is hot, right? It, and metal is a good conductor of heat, right? Then eventually, where will the heat transfer be? How will the heat transfer be like? Let's say if you have a hot water and you have a metal container, how will the heat transfer be like? Because metal is a good conductor of heat. Huh? Hot water to metal container. Very good. So when hot water, if the heat transfer is moving from the hot water to the metal container, metal container will become hotter. Agree? Yes. What will happen to the hot water? It will cool down and... Continue. Will drop. Very good. So when I have a hot water in a metal container, the heat transfer 
will be from the hot water to the metal container, such that, yes, metal is a good conductor of heat, the metal will be hotter, but the water in the beaker will be cooler. As a result, it will not allow the egg to be cooked completely. That's why the egg in the beaker is only partially cooked. On the other hand, when you put the hot water in a plastic cup, plastic is a poor conductor of heat. So the heat loss from the hot water to the plastic beaker is actually much slower. So the hot water will still remain hot to allow the egg to be cooked completely. If you happen to eat yakun, have you heard of yakun before? The very famous bread yeah. shop in shopping center. So next time, right, if you happen to order like hard boy, half boy egg, uh, then they will probably give you. Have you have you seen your parents order half boy egg before? That means like yeah. if, okay. So you think about it in this situation, uh, I put the egg inside the hot water and I use a cover to I use a container to cover the top surface. You will observe that most of them use plastic container because the water will lose heat slowly to the plastic container, allowing the hot water to still remain hot. But if you use a metal container, sure your metal container will become hot very easily, but the water would lose heat. That's why the egg cannot be cooked completely. Gabriel, do you understand me? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I typed out the answer now. Ah. 